There's now an AI developer threatening to take our jobs. There has been an announcement that has shocked the world. So basically, we got a new platform or a new AI tool. Countless engineers worrying about their futures with AI threatening their jobs. The AI is able to do all the tasks that are specifically required by a software engineering. And today, I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin. And his name is Devin? Devin, the first AI software engineer. Devin burst onto the scene. Uh, to introduce Devin, the first AI software engineer. Hello everyone, if you follow me or click on this video, you are following for sure what's happening a little bit in the tech industry. And for the past couple of days, it was very difficult to not hear about this name right there. Devin, the first AI software engineer. I am a little bit late to the party when it comes to reacting to this new technology, but being a junior without a lot of strong opinions yet, I first wanted the news to settle down and reflect on how I feel about this. Obviously, I'm not the first one to talk about that. Our lord and savior, the primogen, made a a very very interesting video with a lot of very nice takes about this particular technology on his second channel the prime time if you don't follow the primogen by the way I, first of all i don't know what you're doing but also i would highly suggest you to go watch this first so first of all devin to give you a little bit of a review this would be essentially the first ai software engineer this is an llm just like chat gpt but that also has access to software engineers oriented tools just like a terminal in a browser for example in a coding editor obviously and it just auto feeds itself until it finds a solution to what you actually prompted from what i understood it is very similar to another project that uses ChatGPT called Chaos GPT. It just auto feeds itself. The demos obviously are impressive. Well, impressive for AI, that is. But right now, the strongest question that we can see everywhere on Twitter, I also got it a little bit on my comment section, is the classic, should we be scared about our jobs? As I stated earlier, I am a junior in this industry. These kinds of technologies and these headlines obviously can be very daunting. After studying for six years, having a job with stress and responsibilities, and also, and I would like to have your opinion in the comments, a kind of stigma regarding our position, whether it is because of the salary or the status that it provides. And when the first articles and videos came out about Devon, I had a lot of non-coding friends and just people all around and asking, yeah, how do you feel about this technology that is for sure going to take your job very, very soon? And this is the first point that I want to make. It looks like the people who are afraid of this taking away the software engineering jobs are not software engineers. Looks like at least. I can consider myself an expert software engineer. Even if I started to study day in, day out since I was eight years old, there is no way I would consider myself an expert because I now slowly realize that experience is just such a huge thing. And so with that in mind, when a new headline like this comes up, there can be a little bit of fear. The thing is though, this type of huge course here, threat concerning our jobs, this is not the first time I am seeing them. For example, after a few targeted Google research, those few articles about ChatGPT and other technologies came out way before Devon was even announced. And uh, for the moment, the pattern that seems to be happening and recurring is new AI thing comes to the market, shitloads of headlines comes up, shockwave title like software engineering is not relevant anymore, you should not learn code in 2024, this and that and whatever, loads of excitement, maybe all of that just to stimulate late venture capitalists. But at the end of the day, there is either two things that is happening. Either the hype around the technology slowly dies out and it just stays in this AI Twitter enthusiast category where people will just play with it and show what it's capable of doing on Twitter, or it becomes an ally to software engineers. Just like right there, GitHub Copilot. When GitHub Copilot came out, I think this was the first time that I actually got a little bit of a fear for what I chose as a career. But as time went on, GitHub Copilot now is, well, it's exactly in the name, it's a copilot for software engineers and it's just an amazing tool to have on the site. Exact same thing with ChatGPT. This was an article from April 2023. But yeah, when ChatGPT came out, being able to write code on the spot directly in front of your eyes, it was at first this huge thing. It's like, yeah, now we have machines that can creatively come up with coding solutions for a particular problem and software engineers should be scared. Did ChatGPT take over our jobs? No. Is it now strongly integrated into the coding pipeline? Yeah, when I code now, I always chat GPT open in another browser because it would just be stupid to not use it. But it's just that. It's just another tool to be faster and more efficient at your job. The thing is though, I really don't want to be pessimistic. Around all the mayhem that generated Devon AI for the past couple of days, I'm pretty sure you guys also heard of this. NVIDIA's CEO predicting the death of code and just being replaced by just plain English, just human language. Why that is obviously scary for people who are studying in this field or just are software engineers all around, let's say this did happen. This is a strong personal opinion, but at least for the next decade, I'm pretty sure you would still need people who just like 
I don't know what it would be called 10 years from now, but people who just understand applications architectures, where do you even host the code? Yes, this AI prompts can come up with its own app or algorithm, but how do you even distribute it to people? Where does it need to be uploaded? What if I run into optimization issues? And so on and so forth. If the death of code really is happening, this is only exciting for the future. Honestly, we would be putting less time in resolving small ass problems for whatever reason and actually focusing on building stuff. And again, let's say this did happen and you are actually afraid about this happening one day, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be difficult for any software engineer to transition into something useful using these types of tools. We still are, and I'm quoting something I heard a couple of weeks ago, knowledge workers. It did take a lot to be part in this industry. It's not going to fall into shambles next week. And if it was about to fall, I am pretty sure these new technologies would open new jobs that we would be able to transition into. As a junior, this is my take on it. I would love to have your opinions in the comments. Tell me what you think. If you actually already started to learn something else because you're afraid of it or whatever. Yeah, let's just once again get the conversation going. That's it for me. Hope you guys had a wonderful week and I see you all very soon on the internet. Bye bye everyone.